Good afternoon, good evening, good night, and welcome to Throwbacks, where we talk all things cool and retro. And today we have another first time, last time, action figure review with Star Wars, Moff Gideon, for the four and up crowd at least. Um, so, this is something I want to talk about and kind of throw in a little bit of vintage collection, retro collection. Um, and just kind of the state of the three and three quarter line with Star Wars. So that's what we're going to do here with this one. And, and I finally found a figure that I was able to pull the trigger on, which finally seeing this one in stores. And it is, as I said, the Moff Gideon. Um, this is from season three of The Mandalorian, where he's got his kind of cool uh, Darth Maul kind of inspired Mandalorian uh, Empire armor going on here. Quick look at the back. I do like how on the back here uh, it does have a little blurb. Clever and formidable Imperial Moff Gideon is fiercely determined to capture the child known as Grogu. So nice little blurb, shot at the figure, all that good stuff. So time to crack it open and have a look at my first ever basic, at least the new version of the basic three and three quarters. Now I think this is probably the second or third wave of these. Um, and I have not got any of those, and, and the reason why is kind of where I think they're missing the mark on this line, which hopefully going forward they rectify, and that is with releasing characters that have already been released so many times, like the Grogu, the Lukes, the Troopers, things like that, where I think this line would be better suited for people like this Moff Gideon, this first time in the line type thing. Um, let's see, the cape, nice looking cape, I didn't realize we're getting such a, actually rather nice cape, soft, good-ish cape, nice pliable rubber cape there, but I feel like if they went this route, kind of the same route that uh, Mattel does with their basic line, where generally speaking, they pump out the basic line figures prior to releasing them in the um, Elite Collection or Ultimate Collection. So you get your first opportunity there, and this allows people with tighter budgets and things like that to get these figures. This was eight dollars, a little under eight dollars all in with taxes. So starting right off the bat here, we got a nice helmet, good sculpt there. Nice little points. Chest looks good. Have a little paint smudge right here. I'm assuming that is not uh not intentional, it's probably from the belt here, um, but all the same. We do have some gauntlet action. It looks like a little spot right here for a weapon of some sort that is not included. I don't believe that this comes off in any sort of way. Um, so another gauntlet there. Moving up to some more armor all around. I mean, some good sculpt action going on here, really. Um, you know, the, the, the nice pliable cape. I would say the uh, the biggest noticeable difference here is the weapon choice. Um, just kind of just kind of blah. Um, obviously the cheap, you know, molded plastic, no extra paint, you know, except for the, the purple there, which really at this point it, I think it would be better suited just to not even bother with that. Um, but yeah, I mean, even the red seems to have a nice kind of cherry pop to it, so it's a nice red. Um, this is cool. Um, so let's go ahead and compare it to the other Moff Gideon. Um, this is the retro collection. So, you know, you get the same kind of armor style. Um, the, 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 the cape obviously being um, the old style look that they were going for here. But, I mean, there are some similarities, but there's also, you know, some upgrades. I think this is a nice, a nice mix here. Uh, if you went, you know, and put the the better head on this one, and you know, remove the cape, I think you've got you've got something there. Uh, but this is very shiny. It looks good. The armor, the details on the armor are pretty good. You just don't get all the extra articulation that you do get with a vintage collection figure. So I was then able to find my uh, Moff Tarkin or Grand Moff Tarkin. Or, why am I saying Tarkin? Oh my gosh. Gideon. Have I been doing that the whole time? If I have, I am sorry. Moff Gideon, um, but I did uh, snag a Grand Inquisitor here to kind of get a comparison here. So also you're talking 16, 17 bucks and you're talking 8 bucks. So double the price. 
um, for this figure. And obviously, you're going to have better articulation. Um, but as far as the mold goes, I mean, it's not too far off. Um, I mean, articulation, obviously, you know, you get arguably a better cape. Um, you know, there's, there's something to be said about this cape, you know, being a little flimsy. Um, how will it hold up over time where this one's going to be fine over time? Obviously, the better mold on the face, that's, you know, that goes without question that you're going to get a better mold on the face. But, you know, you get a nice shiny plastic. The details are pretty decent here. So, I guess my point is, is this double the value of this? And I say no. I don't think that it is. I don't think you're getting quite the bang for your buck with 16 bucks as you're getting with eight bucks i think this is fine now i understand you know you, you want the premium item but i think if you put these out first and give people the option to say you know what that's good enough for me I, that's good enough for me and if you want the premium collectors that are like nope i have to have the articulation i want to do photography things like that then they will want to move over um to you know the vintage collection and stuff like that and then people that are like they want to collect it all anyway they're going to get this and then they're going to buy that a year from you know now down the road things like that so i guess my point on this whole thing is this should be more the path that i think that hasbro should take with this line is instead of pumping out the luke's instead of pumping out the grogu's the boba fett's things like that that have been done a million times and have done a million times in basic form Let's, let's throw some new characters out there. Let's throw some aliens. Let's throw out some guys like that. Some troopers that we haven't seen yet. Some guys like that, like this Mando, that are, are very easy to do. This Mando. Um, that are easy to do in a, a nice, at very worst, a placeholder until you get a vintage collection Moff Gideon coming out. Um, you know what? Let's go ahead and almost end it right here. I'm going to put him on my shelf and let's just see how he looks mixed in with the other because I do have a top shelf that's mainly vintage collection figures. So let's put him on there in the video there and uh, just kind of see how he fits in. Alright moving on up here to where the new Moff Gideon is hiding out which I wish I knew where my other Moff Gideon is. So what do you guys think? Does he fit in okay? I mean I don't think it's bad. I think honestly like this mall I think it is kind of a, a bigger eyesore than anything with the scaling issues um, that Hasbro has had. Um, but, you know, you, I think you've got this... Um, oh my lord, what am I doing today? A <laughs> figure. I'm just going to have to call him a figure because I'm, I'm uh, blanking right now. Um, but, you know, I feel like it's not bad. I mean, you got a Power of the Force guy back there and... I, I mean, he's definitely bulkier, but I think, at least in this armor case, I think it works because that armor is should be big. It should be bulky and all that good stuff, but that's just my opinion. I'm glad I bought it. It's going to be great. I can't see myself moving on from it unless there's a massive sale when the eventual vintage collection of that figure comes out. Um, so I'm kind of happy with it right now and it's like I said for the price the bang for your buck I can't be mad about it but again my thoughts what are your guys thoughts bang for your buck now keep in mind bang for your buck double the price is the vintage collection worth it sometimes it is I think in this case I think it's okay but uh, leave your comment down below what you guys think but of course while you're there go ahead and hit us with that like do leave that comment, and of course, subscribe to the channel as we post new content every single day. But for myself and Uncle BJ and Grand Admiral Thrawn, thank you for brain, we're going to throw one back, and we'll see you all next time.